Welcome to a brief introduction to Microsoft Silverlight. Now I'm sure working at Microsoft you've heard the edict come down from the higher ups that you have to use Silverlight on any web applications you can moving forward. And I know a lot of you are wondering what exactly is Silverlight? What can it do? So uh, in this video we're going to talk a little bit about uh, an overview of what Silverlight is, um, what you can do in it and show some examples of work that we've done. Um, also we're going to talk about what's coming out in uh, Silverlight 2.0 which is currently in beta now and will be coming out. Uh, in a full release uh, very soon. So uh, before we start, uh, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Peter Van Rysdam. I'm the Vice President of Marketing for 352 Media Group. We're a web development firm and we've been a Microsoft vendor since 2004 and uh, actually we're now an MSVP vendor. So uh, I'm joined here uh, by Kelly Kimpton who is our Development Director of Design and Kelly, let's just start with just a brief overview of, of what is uh, Microsoft Silverlight. Sure. Um, Silverlight is a web browser plugin that supports ri rich internet applications. Um, it works cross browser as well as cross platform, so um, it's accessible both on Macs and PCs. Um, it also supports all types of vectors, um, video, audio, it also supports animation. Um, it's a great new technology. Cool. Now, what are some of the differences? I know a lot of people compare it um, to, to programs like Adobe Flash. What are some of the uh, differentiating factors with, with Silverlight? One of the biggest differences is how you create Silverlight applications. With Flash, you're really limited to what you can do involving ActionScript. But one of the nice things about um, Silverlight is that you can actually use um, C Sharp as well as VB.net. Um, you also have XAML that you're using instead of ActionScript, so it's great. It allows you the ability to have your presentation indexed by the browsers. Mm -hmm. So that's a really key difference there. Okay, cool. Well, um, let's let's go now and take a look at some of the examples of Silverlight that, that we've done. Uh, this first one is something we created for the Visual Studio Express SKUs. Uh, this site is designed to showcase the features of the various products. Uh, you can read about the software, browse interactive product tours. Uh, this site's a, a really good example of some of the basic animations and functionality that you can do with Silverlight. Uh, this next project has a little more functionality and gives a glimpse of some of the really cool RIA features you can build with Silverlight. We created this site in-house to help people sort through the different presidential candidates' views. The real-time search lets you see how each parameter affects the results. Uh, the applications for something like this are endless from product searches to reservation calendars. And obviously this site uh, was a lot more uh, populated when there were a lot more candidates. Uh, but you can get an idea for how this works. Uh, the third example shows one of the most powerful features of Silverlight, and which is how well it supports a video. Uh, in addition to the animations on this page, you can see how quickly the video loads and how smoothly it runs. Uh, Silverlight actually allows for scalability up to HD quality and makes it one of the best choices uh, for distributing video content. One of the other great things about the way Silverlight handles video is unlike Flash, it doesn't require codecs. It supports WMV files, which makes it a lot easier for the developers to work with. And I'm sure you may have heard that um, the Olympics and Major League Baseball are also using Silverlight technology to display their video on their websites. So all the sites that uh, we just showed are created in Silverlight 1.0, uh, but there's some really cool features that are coming out with 2.0, which uh, is currently in beta. And Kelly, if you could tell us a little bit more about what some of those features are. Sure. Um, the, the .NET um, support is really fantastic. It's one of the key elements of the 2.0 release. Um, as opposed to the 1.0 where you had to use JavaScript, now you can actually integrate with .NET programming. Um, so you don't have to recreate any components. You can use some programming that you already have. And that mm -hmm. way the designer and programmer can just work together to integrate their, their work. Um, another great thing is um, the back the back button um, support. I know it's really annoying when you go to a Flash website right now and you know you're navigating through the site and you think you can click the back button to get to the page that you weren't on, but you can't. It just takes you to the previous site. So um, that's one of the great things about 2.0 is you can actually use your back button and get to the previous page you were um, navigating to. Um, another great thing is it came out with a whole set of controls that you can use. So some of the really neat things like you showed in the candidate filter, that slider component, mm -hmm. um, that's already in the toolbox. So that control already exists. There's button controls. There's lots of different things that um, weren't available in the previous release. So that's great for the developers. And um, coming soon down the pipeline, we're looking at some nice things for um, the mobile web as well. Cool. So you can be able to use Silverlight on your phone and your PDA. Yeah, very cool uh, Nokia presentation they did at the Mix conference. 
I'm actually really excited about the back button thing too. That's going to be really nice. Um, so we've just kind of scratched the surface of what Silverlight is, um, and hopefully that gives you a high-level overview that you can work with. Um, but check back on this uh, site for some more videos in the future. Uh, we're going to be putting out more videos that kind of drill down further into specific features of Silverlight. And, and uh, if there's any questions you have or any topics you want us to talk about, please feel free to email, my, email us. Uh, our website is www.352media.com. Thanks so much for watching.